it's time to go on holiday. First, gotta find that pesky travel partner of mine. Where are we going today? Pula, which is in Croatia. Very small village. It has one restaurant. Well, the lights are on. There's music. Tell me about your first impressions in here, please. So, they smoke indoors. That is a shock so, to the system. It's like 2008 again. There's only men in here. What? There's only men in here. There's a woman sat behind you. There's there's and there's a woman many, at the door. There's not many women. <laughs> and there's a woman who just served you. They're 50 50 <laughs> men and women. Sitting. I'm not saying it looks unappetizing, but I'm sure, it's, I'm sure it tastes delicious. James has got an entire cow. It does taste a bit like curry sauce, <laughs> which I love. I mean, it's tasty. It's like a curry mushroom sauce. <laughs> Good morning, should we check out the view? Oh my God. James, have you seen the view yet? Come here. You didn't realise we were by the sea? No. I have literally sent you the photos. I haven't been looking, I've been busy. Does anyone else have to put up with a travel partner that no matter how many links you send, how many excited conversations you have with them about busy. the apartment by the sea? I'm going to start asking other people if they want to come on holiday with me. What? Yeah. It may only be 20 degrees, but you still gotta put that sunscreen on. Especially you. I once got so badly burnt in Florida that I had to spend three days in the bikini I was wearing when I got burnt. It was awful and it taught me a big lesson. It's just not worth it. James, there's yeah. a lot of old people. I feel like we might have come to Croatian Benidorm. No, because there's no mobility scooters. Yeah. There's too many hills. Apparently this is a bit of a tourist destination for the Germans and the Austrians. However, not many of them are on their holidays right now. So it might just be James, me, and the OAPs. How much was it for Aperol Spritz there? So it's three pounds 30 for an Aperol Spritz. It's supposed to be great. We'll be back, lads. We'll be back. Yeah, but we need some breakfast instantly, please. Now. <laughs> What's that? Like this, literally. Bye to the side of you. I'm sure it'd be great. Are you hungry? Yeah, but do they do coffee? I've told James to stop being a snob. We're gonna try out the omelets, as that's basically the only thing on here that's a bit breakfasty. This does feel like Benidorm. Are you loving it? Yeah. I mean, we had a great time in Benidorm. We had one. It, that's one of my favourite holidays ever. What we've done better, Dom. The point of this holiday is for us to sit on a terrace and drink. Yeah. Perfect. I'm not on the terrace now. <laughs> All right, Debbie Downer. Oh, our coffee's coming. Hey, Bella. Thank you. That's quite good, actually. Come on, Mr. Positivity. Let's oh, have some yeah, more positive vibe. The oxygen is lovely. The oh, I love the sky. Isn't it nice? The trees are very green. Taste test. I mean, that looks like a pretty decent omelette. 
Turn that frown upside down. Look at my salad, beautiful. <laughs> You're such a dick. <laughs> Kuna. How much did that cost, James? 13 pounds? Yeah, pretty decent, I think. Two coffees, omelette. And, and two loaves of bread. <laughs> two lorry loads of bread. The first drinks of the holiday, cheers. Wait, what are you chatting? What are you saying to me? Do you like flowers on an on yeah. on on item of clothing? Yeah, I do. Your favourite colour is that? Grey. Obviously. And you like baggy clothes. Are you describing something you're going to buy me? Yeah. Can't tell you what it is then. <laughs> Ooh. This is a change. Um, I wasn't expecting this, James. No. This is like Dubai. This is like we went to zero gravity in Dubai. I wonder how much the Aperols will be here. Do we think they'll be a lot more expensive? It was 27 in the last place. How much here? It's more. It's 37. Oh, that's not bad though. Thank you. Hey, Bella. Cheers. Cheers. Yumbo. <laughs> I think it's a lot nicer than Benidorm. That's not to say Benidorm's not ace, but this is so beautiful. I felt like we had to drive 30 minutes to get out of Benidorm to get yeah. this kind of beauty. It's nice. Really but nice. It's just a bit of an older crowd. It is, but we are outside of school holidays. So who else is off? Who else can be leisurely? Only the old and those without children. Also, I am a huge fan of the beaches here because they are all, you see in the background there, they're all pebble beaches. They don't have sand beaches here. So this is the only supermarket in the area, really, a big one. This does not look open. I was just gonna say that. And we've just drank two drinks, so we can't drive anywhere. Why is it closed? It might be open. It's not. Well, that looks... Okay. okay. There's enough here. like but this is the dream isn't it James mm. <laughs> workspace each on a balcony with that view it's my plan to do quite Whoa. a bit of video editing what what was it what the f is that well, that's not a wasp that's a beast <gasps> anyway as I was saying I'm gonna edit a shit ton of videos do my own stuff. Okay, okay. Oh, and also look at this. I haven't shown you this yet. That's that's happening later. It's nine o'clock, I've just finished editing. Shall we go for some dinner, James? Yes. James, how many beers have you had so far? Four. Four? And, and some Aperol's. Let's see how it goes. So, the place we wanted to go closed at nine. Awesome. And a lot of these places are, are very closed. We are here out of season. Fingers oh, I know. crossed we can find something. Oh, this no, is where no. we had the omelette. <laughs> now, I'd like to try something new but good to know it's open. I mean, it looks like they do everything. <laughs> it's the same menu as that last place. Do you want to walk down slightly further? And no, come back? I think we're running out of time. I think we need to go now. We've chosen a very popular place. To be fair, everywhere is empty and everywhere is about to close. James, have you ever worked in a bar? This, you laugh, but this is the Croatian way. Oh, really? I see. So, like ten percent lager and ninety percent head is, and then just just part way up the glass. Expectations for this pizza here, James. Um, low to medium low. <laughs> Should 
frames. This looks banging. This looks good. How they cut it for us? It's good. It's good. What do we reckon? What do we reckon? Two hundred. I'm gonna go for two hundred and thirty. On the nose. <gasps> 186. Good morning. The big question is, did we get drunk last night, James? Have we got some horrifying video to share? Why? No. Spoiler. No. No. It was a bit dead, wasn't it? Couldn't get drunk. But today is Friday, so I'm quite excited to see how rowdy it's going to be tonight. We shall see. Uh, but for now, we've had a very chilled, relaxed morning. Had some coffee, had some breakfast, and we're going to go... 10 minutes up the road to a medieval village town called this. We'll find out how you pronounce it in a moment. I think that's where we're staying, right? We are heading up into the medieval hilltop town here in La Bin and we're gonna go get some food. We haven't even got a starter yet, and uh, this has happened. It's the straw. I just, I don't even realize. Go on. I think I need another. This is more than my main dish, as in the whole thing. So, high expectations. Eight pound bag. How much? Eight pound bag. Okay, that's pretty good for tuna carpaccio, though. Oh, it's right. It's three Aperol spritz. Two covers, a starter, two mains, and a couple of coffees. It was really good. Oh, James. Okay, people have got their washing out up here. Shall we uh, head back to our terrace? Oh, first, should we go to the shops? I want to make our own Aperol spritzes. Yeah, we're going to go to Lidl. We're not going to Lidl. Well, wherever. We're going to the spa. Biggest spa you've ever seen in your life. I've just seen the spa. Actually, if you said spa, I can see spa. What in the distance? Yeah. It's little. Oh my god, that is the biggest spa in the world. Ooh, the beer cave. Do you get to go to Lidl to check to see if they got ice? Just been in Lidl. I've been talking about Lidl and you refuse to go to Lidl just... and that's less than six quid. Oh my god, we paid double. Never again will I be drawn to the wily nature of a big ass spa. Just go to Lidl. Oh no. It's cool, isn't it? I just said, I just said, it's there. Laptop club, wankers club, got beers. But we're about to make our own Aperol spritzes. Aperol spritz with me, James, making two Aperol spritz. Get yourself a Aperol deck, just like this one here, and make sure it's off. Then you do three parts of Prosecco. How are you measuring that? With my eye, it's a skill. Just one eye? Then two parts of this, <laughs> and then soda. Pretty boring, just one part of that because the alcohol content of. That's wrong. That's carbonated mineral water. I know. <laughs> oh, too much in that one. Don't matter. <laughs> and then finish it off with. Orange. Bloody hell. No, no, the chopping board is stopped. Do 
James. Je oh, lordy. Use the chopping board in the air. Don't. Don't tell people. Don't do that, people. Don't. Yeah, don't only, only if you're an alcohol professional. Jam it in. Apple roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> mm -hmm. How's it going, James? All right, how are you? <laughs> Just uh, a little razz around the block. Yes. I think this is what it's intended for. I did think. What's this? What is this basket for? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go and knock it over. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Isn't that? Ready? Yeah! Destructive. What number April is this, please? Eight or nine? What? Come in. My name is Chelsea. I have consumed around eight, nine Aperol spritzes this evening. And now we're going to go out. <laughs> Do you remember how absolutely banging it was last night? Over is dead. It's Friday, so we're praying for, for an improvement. Let's see. We want to spend our money. We want to spend our money. Na 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 You're so rich. This is like 11 pounds. <laughs> oh James, this is the bar we were going to look oh, no. at. We asked a chap who worked here and he was like, everything's closed. Come back tomorrow. Hello? Can we have a look in? Come on. Right, this apartment is amazing. First of all, let me show you the entrance hall, which is really cute. Hello. Right, there's lots of nice artwork here too, but this is the first bedroom. And strangely, in the corner is a crib, which James and I do not need and won't be needing any time soon. Thank you very much. Right, let me show you the first bathroom, which is absolutely massive. Plus there's somewhere to wash your clothes. There's a bidet, a nice big bath, and through here into the large living kitchen area. The great thing about this is that in the kitchen, there are so many mod cons. So you've got a dishwasher, an oven, a coffee machine, a fridge, everything you could possibly need. And here you've got this cute little TV area to chill out. But speaking of chilling out, <laughs> why would you not do it to this view? How amazing is that? It's so good. And the great thing about the terrace here is that there are so many places for you to enjoy it, including this table here, which is where James and I have been reading a few books. Well, that was me. On our laptops, just enjoying it there. And it also comes on to this room here, which is a bit of an odd one because there's a sauna in it. And also a load of kids' toys and things, which we haven't needed the use of, but maybe you will. Now, this is the second entrance hall, which has its very own door. So you've got two entrances and two locks. There's also a second bathroom, which is just through here, quite cute and small, sometimes in use. And speaking of twos, here's the second bedroom. Here it is. I really like this one. It's really cute. Got your storage here. And also, you guessed it, is another bloody bathroom en suite style. Right, finally, let me show you the room where James and I have been staying. This is the master. I mean, look at that bed frame. It is pretty special. And the best thing about it for us anyway is, I don't know if you picked up on this in Europe. Sometimes they have what looks like a double mattress, but it's actually a twin. But this is a double and we're very, very happy with that. And that is it for the house tour. Oh, I have missed out the best bit, which has got to be oh, the hot hi. tub. How you doing? Come get in here. Now you can stay in this place for just this much a night. Or between six of you, it would be this much. So it's pretty cheap, right? Cheers! Oh, that's okay. 
Mm. That wasn't hard at all. First take, wasn't it? Yeah, one take. It wasn't the first take. In fact, why don't you comment down below and guess how many takes that took us? Because it was a fair few. We will tell you at the end. You're out of breath. <laughs> James, look what it is. Your favorite. Very good. Oh wow, this is the bazaara, shrimp bazaara with tagliatelle, real oh, vegetables. And that's a leaf dish with cheese. Oh my god. I'm either gonna get a gin and tonic or a martini. Now, have you ever had a martini before? I don't think I have actually. Nice. Actually, it came up to about 80 quid, which is a lot. However, we had starters, we had mains, we had puddings, we Lots had of cocktails, we had shots. I think that's pretty good. Uh, what is a massive difference is there are people about. It's a quarter past nine. There are people. Civilization. There's live music. Our flight's at 10.30, so a very early checkout for us, but oh, let's go! So the holiday is over, but what did you make of Croatia, James? It's very pretty. It's so pretty. We're in the middle of a touristy area. The locals don't seem to really live in the area that we were staying. It's more of a tourist resort. There weren't that many places to eat at. No. Um, but you know, we had two cracking meals. The last night's meal was really good. Narbeam was really good. You know, it's a really nice place to come and relax, get some sunshine. That's a little bit different. If you've never been to Croatia, it could be a good way to do it. We are now heading back to the airport. However, we won't end it here because you need to find out how many takes that one take of the apartment actually took. Did you guess it right? How many times did it take us to nail the one shot? It wasn't one, James. Why no, are you wasn't. lying? It was a bit more than that. It was nine. No, nah, it wasn't that many. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Shit. I'm tired. The one we did in Barcelona, if you haven't seen it before, we genuinely mm. did it on the first go. Uh, yeah, we weren't going to be that lucky again. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do click like, give us a comment. And also subscribe if you haven't already. Like if you like beer. Like if you like beer. Yeah. Okay then. Right. See you in the next video. Like. Bye. Bye.